All right, so next day of build log, and I'm actually on remote location. So I'm at my parents' house. Uh, I had to come by here and uh, take care of some stuff. But I brought the project with me, so we've got this section. You can see I very terribly taped that off. I don't care if that's an inside window. That's probably mostly going to be covered. And then you've got this part. So I left up just an edge or two to be able to peel it. Same with this one. As you can see the sticker is there. I really don't like these metallic stickers that much. And then this one was the hard one because the little ones are going to be a huge pain to remove. You know, it's always good. So I've got to get all that. And then the last one with the chrome sticker inside there. And I just microwaved my water. So once again, for those who don't know, so we got the rattle cans. Uh, if you want to make them a little bit stronger, a little bit heavier spray, even when they're not low. Um, so you want to give it just a coffee mug with a little bit of water in there. Not that much because the can is going to float. You know, heat it up 45 seconds, whatever, get it nice and hot. Drop the can in there. And then let it sit. I was going to say let it chill, but that's not a thing. And a timer. I don't know if that has a timer on it. Nope. Uh, it it's their microwave, I don't really know. Mine has a timer feature. So I'll just set myself a timer on the phone. But um, I should have done that while I was masking. So one thing I had determined yesterday was that the stickers are very sticky most of the time so i gotta be real careful when i'm peeling them off later i also don't really want to leave them on there for too long or let them get hot because that'll get even stickier i left myself just a little bit of an edge to try to peel things up um so i'm doing laundry i'm working on this and i'm relaxing and i had to help uh take care of some stuff now this is the remainder of the sticker sheet i don't know what those purple stripes are for Part of me thinks that's the part of the leg that I painted black yesterday. But then we got some black stickers. No idea where those are supposed to go. But I've just painted things. And you've got chrome stickers that I don't know where those are supposed to go. Um, I did mask off the bumper for um, long haul. I painted that. Uh, I'll show that off once I get back home. It looks really good. So the bumper is silver. The grill is black. The headlights are black. So it looks really nice. Just added some detail. And I thought about bringing the hips with me so I could add little purple sections. I just didn't because um, I, I wanted to limit what all I brought. But for now, uh, I'll just relax and get to the point of getting ready to paint this. It's literally the last five parts that need to be painted green. Okay, so there we go. Oops, I... Let me get it out here in some natural light so we can see. I'm asking, doing its job as far as I can tell. And let that rest for a little while. Actually, you know what? Let's bring this out in the sun. So it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So, the only thing is, like, this area right here didn't get a perfect coat, but that's actually covered by a grill. So not too concerned and also like that little bezel around that windshield I'm going to hit with some black paint when I get home just so it stands out a little bit I might paint that divider black too I don't know we'll see but there's one thing I neglected to do and that was to paint the front of that cab red so I'm gonna have to do that later so that sucks all right so I'm finally home and there's the long haul front end this had to look good now I'm thinking these little bits right there on the hip skirts are gonna get painted purple just for the hell of it so that just something else stands out there another thing so I'm about to start masking off so I'm gonna completely block this off and then I'm going to paint that whole uh, little caution thing yellow so make sure I get that down in the cracks and then the raised stripes on the inside are going to be black and then the outer edge is going to be a nice silver I had to work out that color scheme with the help of Rodmus so 
And then these uh, slats right here, I'm taking as vents. I'm gonna go ahead and paint those um, black as well, but I can do that by hand. Um, yeah, because I would have to mask off all of those. That'd be a nightmare. So I'll just, I'll just hand paint that. Uh, considered painting that little grid section right here, but oh well. Yeah, the window came out pretty decent. Oh, that's the other thing I just keep reminding myself of. Where is that piece? Oh, right here. So, you can really see the glue that got stuck there. I might try to just run over it again with some other, or just brush it on, but I need to paint the front of the windshield there uh, with the metallic red as well, so I might just, that's either gonna be clever masking, because I finally found my uh, smaller six mil tape. So I might just mask off all those edges, give it a quick spritz, and call that a day. Uh, but for the most part, here's the kind of semi-finished knee section there. I might get up inside that little groove there with some black paint. Uh, or I might just leave it, but that leg looks pretty good. I digs it. I digs it a lot. So I got those vents under there, painted black. You know, the silver pistons, they should be black, but you know, they're, they're silver in the thing. So the combination of the matte black against the gloss glossy purple and the metallic -y green is looking really good and then here's the front front grill section that goes up here I guess I could stick that on that's not gonna hurt anybody I'll just paint around it essentially I can just push it on my look it's gonna be one of those things it's probably gonna be one of those things actually let's paint that black around that inside of that windshield first, just the window bezel, as it were. And I think these, I might do, you know what, I might do these little toesies, or I might leave those and then just do these little ridges in silver. And I thought about doing those little vertical spots there in black, mostly things I can hand paint, so. I think that's what I'll do for right now, I'll do a bunch of the hand painting and then I'll do the, uh, the like major masking and stuff between that one and then that one and like I said I might have to go in and touch up a little bit of the red paint see where the masking was a little stupid there so yeah I'm getting closer all right so pretty much at the final stages of just basic paint as you can see there I did do the uh, little caution stripe there this one came out pretty good the one over here uh, there's some sloppiness but I'm hiding it with the tank tread um, the paint after doing it here was a combination of being too thin and too thick I don't understand how that happened but it did ultimately it came out pretty good I also painted in those vents there it's still questionable but I can live with it to be totally honest I think ultimately it just adds some detail level to it um, I don't remember if I showed it off but it did add some silver accents there and on the leg there finally got the wheels on I don't even know if I mentioned that so the wheels are all hand painted uh, silver using the same kind of techniques I always use where I you know take the spray can spray it in the cup and brush it on uh, let's see what else okay up here we got some little silver touches there and there and then on that little guy just breaking up the green basically it's just super green so i had some little silver touches here and there but it's come up pretty well even here on these uh side skirt wheels a little silver paint there i'm still on the fence about weathering because i feel like they're construct cons so they would be super dirty i don't want to go super dirty you know um, so this might be one of those ones that I leave alone. Kind of like, uh, IDW Prime. I didn't really weather him much. I might do just a little bit of, of, uh, chipping and stuff like that, but I don't know. So this one, I think, is the only one that is a full, complete vehicle in and of himself. I also feel like that tip of the shoulder, that whole back half should have been purple. That never squeezed together right. There it goes. I don't know. Maybe I'll mask that off, paint that purple. I feel like that's what it needs. These guys don't have much. 
even this one. Uh, see, like if I were to do it again, like I would probably do a G2 color scheme with the, the yellow and then add a little bit different details and also do purple purple treads on this guy, stuff like that, and I'd probably do silver legs. Uh, one thing I did not do uh, was add the yellow stripe to the drum here. I was going to add yellow inside there. I'm super scared to do that. Yellow is super hard to paint on without having to do multiple layers or mask the whole thing off and spray it. I'm sure it would look fantastic, but also sure it would be a huge pain in my butt. But I'm going to do a quick final assembly. As a quick addendum to the uh, rest of the build log, these are all of the paints I used, minus one, but really uh, that's unimportant in comparison. So we got matte black, metallic red, purple, semi-gloss black, uh, silver leaf, chrome yellow, candy lime green, clear red, it's unnecessary, but I used it. And rubber black. And then, of course, just for some extra detail work and things like that, little Tamiya orange, flat yellow. Um, wait, did I use some flat? Yes, I did. I did use a little bit of flat yellow, not much. Uh, I did also just hand brush some of that. So if you don't have this, using a chrome yellow, perfectly acceptable. And then some flat black. So that's essentially all of the paints I used for the build.